Um, allow me to just run straight to Dennis for his uh, very brief comments. Um, uh, my questions were really two. Uh, one was about mice. Yeah. Now, uh, mice, you realize mice for Uganda is such a young, a, a young product that we are trying to uh, develop. Fortunately, um, the, people that are, uh, the people that are dealing with mice have, uh, as of last year, organized themselves into an association to try and uh, do more on, uh, on uh, incentives and uh, conferences, which, uh, uh, which is a, a good step in the right direction. But also we need to understand that uh, this mice business is actually taking a whole uh, different uh, approach now. There is a report that was, uh, uh, that was published by the uh, head of SCAL in Bangkok as of uh, uh, last week. And in that uh, report, uh, one of the things that uh, are, being, uh, are being envisaged to happen in the future in regards to this mice, is there going to be, there's going to be now a lot of uh, things that people should have, that would have done uh, by uh, actual physical interface uh, through webinars and, and, and Zoom and all these video conferencing facilities. Actually, now it, it has proven to be that it can actually work, like Warren has said. So that will uh, uh, sort of eat up into uh, some of these unnecessary, uh, some of the, uh, some of the uh, uh, mice events that may not be uh, looked at as uh, extremely important. But that, that said, because uh, people are human, they still need to interface and they need, still need to uh, meet in, phys in, 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 in a physical person. So uh, from that report, it, sort of, it, it still says there will still be demand. So there is light at the end of the, of the tunnel. But that's still, uh, going, with, uh, going, going by the high uh, stringent travel restrictions that are going to arise out of uh, the post-COVID, uh, out of this post-COVID situation, uh, the same applied to uh, the 9 one one eleven uh, bombing in, uh, in America. It, it created a new wave in travel, created a new, a, a, a new challenges in travel. So this as well is going to uh, affect mice in, the, in, in such a manner that uh, the stringent travel restrictions may actually be a, deter a deterrent to a lot of uh, travelers, but maybe for the better. And uh, there is also uh, certainly going to be um, in, in, in the mass, mass sector world over, there's going to be much preference for direct flights. Now, Uganda, how many direct flights do we have out of America? How many direct flights do we have out of Europe? Uh, you know, all these sort of things is uh, post the post-COVID effect is giving uh, is go is going to give more prestige uh, to uh, uh, direct to direct flights, but then also for uh, top CEOs and top uh, business operators who actually come for these uh, uh, mice events, and most of them are going to be shifted ar shifted around uh, private travel where they're going to have uh, private jets and that sort of stuff. So as you look at mice for Uganda, you need to look at it in a broader perspective. Remember Uganda with our young sector. So for us to compete against them, it's going to be a long tour, but uh, we, you know, baby steps, but in the right direction. So certainly, uh, mice is going to be affected world over, post COVID, as of those uh, uh, some of those uh, points that I have raised. Now you raised an issue about uh, the need to focus on domestic uh, tourism. You will have to uh, realize that uh, as a destination or as a country, very few of our participants on here actually focus a lot on domestic market. It is uh, unfortunate, but also it's a business decision that uh, everyone chooses to take. People will always uh, go out for uh, the deals that bring in the best uh, uh, return on investment. So that's why you realize that most of our two operators will uh, prefer to look at uh, outside Uganda or even outside, region, outside the region and outside Africa because it brings better returns. And maybe also, uh, it is now high time that uh, the Uganda Tourism Board is a little bit more to focus on uh, regional travel and uh, intra-Africa trade because um, we all realize that uh, with the intra-Africa trade, it is less susceptible to uh, as such uh, challenges. It, uh, doesn't, uh, it doesn't react uh, much to uh, such uh, shocks. And uh, UTB also furthermore needs to focus on uh, statistics available. I don't know how much research that UTB does that it can provide to uh, that it can provide to uh, the two operators to justify them 
focusing more on domestic travel or inter-Africa travel. But without uh, people having this uh, data, that there are travelers that can take on this, that can take on that, that have the capacity to consume um, itineraries priced probably at this sort of uh, amount, it will become very hard for uh, a tour operator to actually focus on this market right now.